lush green forests, invaluable treasure of flora and enchanting flowers, a vast variety of crops. India is endowed with these blessings of nature that are a priceless wealth for mankind. Not just for food, shelter or life-saving medicines. The diversity of climatic conditions makes India one of the richest nations of the world in terms of plant biodiversity. India houses 45,000 species of plants and crops, 11% of the planet's wealth of flora, 166 agricultural crops and 320 of their wild relatives originated here. Among the 34 mega biodiverse regions of the world, India is having three regions, namely Eastern Himalayas, Indo-Burma region and Western Ghats. Some of them are globally important agricultural heritage systems also. Towards the middle of the century, the need to meet the escalating food demands of a growing population, Indian scientists to come up with short duration, high yielding crop varieties. Three decades since this green revolution, thousands of new crop varieties have contributed to the nation's food security goals. The gene pool of these new varieties are invariably sourced from the original varieties conserved by farmers since time immemorial. The call of our times are crops that can resist extreme temperatures, droughts, floods, salinity and water logging. Thankfully, some of our communities and tribes in different parts of India still cultivate and nurture traditional crops that have these character traits. To address this historical need, the Government of India enacted the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Act in 2001 in compliance with India's obligation with TRIPS Article 27 3B. Subsequently, the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Authority was established in 2005 with the mandate to establish an effective system of protection of plant varieties and farmers' rights. The Act is the first of its kind in the world that recognizes the contribution of farming communities for their conservation of plant genetic resources. The Act, in light of FAO Farmers' Rights and Convention of Biological Diversity, Provides IP protection of farmers' varieties as equivalent of plant breeders. Provides compensation to farmers in case of non-performance of registered plant varieties. Can distribute benefit sharing proceeds from the sale of protected varieties. Section 45 of the PPV and FR Act 2001 also has the provision for a national gene fund under the union government. PPV and FRA constituted a task force with several experts and subject matter specialists. The task force has identified 22 agrobiodiversity hotspots in India. The task force has also identified the wild relatives, economically important crops, land races and endangered crop species endemic to hotspots, besides enlisting the tribal and cultural diversity along with their traditional cropping practices. Malabar, Agrobiodiversity Region. This region is situated in the southern regions of the Western Ghats, comprising of all districts of Kerala, Dakshin Kannada, Kodagu and Uddipi districts of Karnataka and Nilgiri, and Kanyakumari districts of Tamil Nadu. There are approximately 1,286 endemic species in southern western Ghats in comparison to the 234 in northern areas. The agriculture of the region is influenced by the topographical feature of hills and valleys and known for homestead gardens, Purayadams. 
Malabar contributes to approximately 96% of pepper and approximately 90% of rubber produced in India. Wayanad district of the region is well known for its diversity in tuber and leafy vegetables and fruits. Local tribal communities in Wayanad district use these as food crops. Several banana varieties, for example, red-skinned kappa, large yellow-skinned nendran, to small-skinned kadali and rasthali are an important constituent of local trade. Several black pepper cultivars were developed from local types like Paniyur 4 from Kuthiravali and Sritara from Karimunda. Cardamom has three distinct types, Malabar, Mysore and Vazuka and number of cultivars were developed. Here, one can also find significant genetic diversity of cinnamon and turmeric. From south, let's move on to the northeast of India. Brahmaputra Valley Agrobiodiversity region. These are districts adjoining Brahmaputra River with tributaries and Barak Valley. The climatic condition and wide variety in physical features in the region results in a diversity of ecological habitats. Bhutia and Bodo are two major ethnic tribal groups here. The region has significant genetic diversity of bamboo and every household grows bamboo in its Bari land. Commonly cultivated species are Bambusa Balkua or the Baluka Bamboo, Bambusa Tulda or the Jati Bamboo, Melokana Bassifera or the Muli Bamboo, Dendrocalamus Hamiltoni or the Coco Bamboo, Dendrocalamus Giganteus or the Mokang Bamboo, Bamboo, locally called the poor man's timber, is integrated in every sphere of life in the Northeast. However, overexploitation of some species for fuel wood and for the cottage industry has endangered others. Efforts to reverse the process of genetic erosion in the region is on. The valley is also the center of origin for commercially important plants including banana, citrus, mango, zizyphus and tea. The unique climatic conditions of the region that gives the produce of the region a distinct identity not to be found elsewhere. The Brahmaputra Valley Biodiversity Region experiences high precipitation during the monsoon period. Sometimes as much as 250 to 300 millimeters of rain per day. This hot and humid tropical climate contributes to a unique malty taste in the tea that is grown in Assam. Camellia sinensis variety Assamica. Historically, Assam has been the second commercial tea production region after southern China. In fact, these are the only two regions in the world with native tea plants. It is important to conserve these agrobiodiversity hotspots, maintain the pristine environment to nurture evolution and to reward local communities for selfless conservation efforts to meet our future requirements effectively. Now, PPV and FRA has constituted Plant Genome Savior Community Ward to reward farmers who contribute in preserving unique varieties of economic plants. A cash award of 10 lakh rupees had been set forth for distribution among the identified farmers and communities engaged in agrobiodiversity conservation. Purana Dhan local ka variety amara pas hai o khet mein kar raha hu Biodiversity is a natural treasure that is integral to the sustenance and existence of humanity. Our ancestors knew this only too well. So our local communities
took special care to preserve our unique biodiversity. The Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Authority has started the process. All of this in partnership with local communities to help them benefit from effective use of their own traditional knowledge base. These hotspots are ready and raring to go. Soon, we will reach the aim of using these priceless treasure troves of nature to their full potential to the benefit of mankind.